She loves the camera almost as much as it loves her. Obviously enjoys chocolate. Not so sure about the hard-boiled eggs, though. And adores playing with friends. <laughs> A quick glance from pandas covering her little piggies to pigtails, and Lola June seems similar to any other two year old. But some might argue she's strokes ahead of most toddlers. You see, those chubby little paint stained hands pulling pastels tell part of her story. She's an artist with her own exhibition titled Hope. She's very talented, or maybe I should not use the word talented. She's like beautiful spirit. Pythamus Monet curated the solo show. Says when he laid eyes on Lola June's very first piece, this one right here, he was surprised. If I will see the same artwork and I didn't know who's the artist, if I will see it at the MoMA or like any museum, I'll stop by and pay, uh, pay respect for that. So. <laughs> More than 30 of her works adorn the walls of Chashama, space for artists in Union Square. Founder Anita Durst tells me her nonprofit gets hundreds of applications every day from artists hoping to showcase their talents. Lola's work, the color and the vibrancy, and the idea that she's a two year old really attracted us. Is this the youngest artist that you have ever put in one of your spaces? Absolutely. About a third of the artwork has already been sold, and the inquiries keep coming in. Prices range from $400 to $2,400, with the exception of this one. Remember her very first work of art? The price tag, $23,000. Likely way less than its sentimental value. From Union Square, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Lola June's hope is on display until March 18th. She's a natural. Just have it like Be that. Be able to pay for college. That's true. Early.